brought to you by the Cool Fat Burner, the world's first brown fat weight loss device. Hey everyone, we just wrapped up a nearly four month long experiment involving before and afters of DEXA scans, uh, indirect calorimetry readings, and hormonal profile testing, uh, all culminating in three separate experiments, videos, related blog posts. Uh, the first will be about the cool gut buster and the spot reduction of stomach fat. The second will be about the resting metabolic rate, especially as it pertains to the cold adapted state. And the third will be about body recomposition and hormone levels. All right, let's see what happened. So in this video, we're looking at the cool gut buster, its ability to induce fat cell apoptosis, and the resultant fat spot reduction of your stomach, love handles, and so on. Real quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. We do not recommend using the Cool Gut Buster against your bare skin. It's very easy to uh, get cryo burn uh, and other similar you know, damage to the skin if you use it in this manner. So again, educational purposes only. All right, a few definitions. Uh, apoptosis, that is the intentional self-destruction of cells. In a previous video, the adiponectin video, we talked about how, for example, adiponectin can cause damaged cells, junk cells, certain cancer cells to self-destruct. That's apoptosis occurring. In this video, we'll be talking about apoptosis of subcutaneous fat cells, again, around the stomach. Uh, and that would cause spot reduction. Spot reduction is the intentional targeting of a particular area in terms of fat burning, fat loss, and that will result in fat spot reduction. So spot reduction is the intentional removal or reduction of fat in a particular targeted area of your body. So up to this point, there's really been no way to spot reduce fat except for plastic surgery. Uh, diet and exercise does not spot reduce fat. If you do sit-ups, you do not burn the fat from your stomach. Your body burns fat basically where it wants to in the order it wants to in a predetermined uh, order based on genetics evolution and so forth for example men tend to hold on to their fat around their stomach last of all uh, women uh, tend to hold on to fat around their hips or legs those tend to be the last places where men and women will burn their fat and the first place where they gain it back again when you do lose weight from diet or exercise you tend to actually shrink and drain the individual fat cells. And of course, if you gain weight, those fat cells fill back up again. But with cold thermogenesis and apoptosis, you not only shrink and drain those fat cells, you actually remove those fat cells from your stomach so they're gone and they're not coming back. And again, up to this point, only uh, plastic surgery, liposuction, and similar procedures have been available to spot reduce stomach fat. Well, they looked at a disorder called popsicle paniculitis, and this is where uh, little kids were getting dimples in their cheeks from eating popsicles, and the cold would induce apoptosis of the fat in their cheeks, and they would end up with permanent dimples. So researchers postulated that if you could produce and maintain cold around this, the stomach, you could reproduce the same effect and spot reduce the stomach fat. And by researching pigs and then humans, they discovered that the, the target range that you need is above 32 degrees, obviously for frostbite or cryoburn, you don't want to go below that, but below 41 degrees or else it's not cold enough to induce the inflammation and the apoptosis. So let's just cut to the results. As we can see in these before pictures when I was intentionally fattened up, you can see that uh, after half an hour, I was able to get the skin temperature down to 36 degrees. After 60 minutes, it was at 38 degrees. and around an hour and a half, it was 40 degrees. So we were perfectly smack dab right in the middle of where we wanted to be to induce apoptosis and the spot reduction of stomach fat between the 36 and 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Now keep in mind, this is not about weight loss. This is about fine-tuning uh, once you get close to your target physique. In regards to weight loss, especially if you're obese, this is the proverbial drops in the bucket. If you're obese, if you're looking for weight loss, then that would be the, the effects of general cold thermogenesis, as we showed in the indirect calorimetry experiment, the, the, the brown fat PET scan experiment the adiponectin experiment, that's where you get your weight loss is through cold thermogenesis. This experiment, again, is more about fine-tuning. So to wrap it up, again, the Cool Gut Buster can reproduce the parameters and conditions necessary to induce fat cell apoptosis, spot reduction of stomach fat, and there we go. Okay, until next time. 
brought to you by the Cool Fat Burner, the world's first brown fat weight loss device. 